In this video, we are going to be doing a gameplay on the new Dark Matter 99 overall Nate Thurman card. As you guys can see, he is a center power forward, 6 foot 11, which is going to be a great height for the power forward position. He's got an 89 mid range, 92 three ball, which is really good for a Nate Thurman card. He's got 97 uh, standing dunk, 95 driving dunk. He's got an 86 ball handle, and obviously he's going to be a really good defender. He's got 97 block, 98 interior with a 92 steal and an 89 lap or 89 perimeter defense he's got 98 offensive rebound 98 defensive rebound he's also got 92 speed 92 acceleration with the 89 speed with ball so it's going to be a pretty fast power forward and then he does have 98 hustle and 93 lateral quickness nate thurman also has 33 hall of fame badges including catch and shoot corner specialist brick wall pickpocket rim protector chase down artist clamps interceptor intimidator rebound chaser post lockdown limitless spot up which is really nice Quick first step, sniper, ankle braces, fast twitch, ball stripper, and hustler. And then he also does have 28 gold badges as well. I want to give a massive thank you to Mini Coach for letting me use his account for today's gameplay. Make sure to go follow him on Twitter. I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the description down below. And now it's time to test out this Nate Thurman card in freestyle. First thing we can see is he does have the quick dribble style and actually a really good snatchback animation. This Nate Thurman card can low key move for a six foot eleven power forward. Yeah, he can low-key move, and that jump shot is not that bad at all. To be honest, I mean, it's actually pretty fast. I'm shooting a lot of lates. Wow, is it that fast? It is that fast of a jump shot. Yeah, guys, that's a... Yeah, that is a super fast jump shot, man. That is actually really good. This Nate Thurman card might be him, not gonna lie. He might just literally be him. He's got quick dribble style. He actually got some pretty good sigs. Like, he can move decently well. He's got a really good jump shot that's super fast. And look at his player model, bro. He's got a really good player model. He's going to be good at going to the basket. This Nate Thurman card, 6'11 at power forward. I'm not sure his wingspan. If somebody knows his wingspan, if you guys could comment down below, that'd be nice. But yeah, no, this card might really be good at power forward. And he's going to be super cheap for sure. So let's green one more three and let's get on to the Nate Thurman gameplay. Into the clutch time game here with Nate Thurman. I'm actually really interested to see how good of a card Nate Thurman actually is because in freestyle, I did like the look of how he was moving, and I thought his jump shot was actually really good. I thought it was going to be like a terrible jump shot, so I was super surprised when I saw it. it really wasn't that bad of a jump shot, and it's actually a pretty fast jump shot as well. So let's get in the pick and roll here. Zach Levine and Nate Thurman looking to go around that screen. Going to see Nate Thurman looking to attack in the basket, going all the way. He's going to take my opponent Zion off the dribble, and he is going to get his first two points on the board. Zach Levine and Nate Thurman in another pick and roll. What can we do? We got the mismatch looking to back down his Steph Curry man gonna spin off Steph Curry with a little fade away look at Nate Thurman knocking down that fade as he's got his first four points on the ball game his matchup is gonna be against Zion Williamson who's not really the best power forward in the game I'm not sure if it's the Galaxy Opal or if it's the Dark Matter but should be a decent matchup for Nate Thurman as we're gonna play great defense on his shack and we have Nate Thurman running in transition that is gonna be Galaxy Opal Zion Williamson we're looking to go around that Opal Zion looking to attack the basket Nate Thurman going all the way and he's got to foul us man giving us two free throws at the line let me know in the comment section down below where do you guys think this Nate Thurman card is gonna rank amongst the best power forwards in the game me personally I mean I do have to test him out a little bit more but just looking at his stats his badges and kind of how he moves and his jump shot he might honestly be a top five power forward in the game right behind guys like Shaq, Wilt, Bob, Amari. He might be a better Blake Griffin. Like he might be a better power forward than Blake. I think that'll be his best competition as we try to get the rebound, but Shaq is going to get the put back dunk to go. But so far, I'm actually really liking how this Nate Thurman card is playing in the game. Looking to go around that screen, Nate Thurman, he is going to stop and pop in from way downtown as he's going to get his first three ball on the game. I honestly should have greened that because I was left wide open, but we will definitely still take the three as he's going to knock down an early 25% covered. I want to see what Nate can do on the inside. I want to get Nate Thurman the ball on the inside, man. Get the ball into Nate Thurman. Looking to work on Zion Williamson. Got him in the post. Nate Thurman, can he go right over him? No, he can't. Zion is going to play good defense. I just want to test it out. I just want to see what Nate Thurman can do. You know, trying to attack the basket, going in the paint. 
Going to get blocked there by Zion Williamson. Going to call screen here from Nate Thurman once again. Looking to go round his screen. Can we create some space? Yes, we can. Looking to take Steph Curry in the post, man. We have got the mismatch. Looking to drop Steph. But look at Nate Thurman. He's just going to dunk right over Steph and Curry and get another two points on the board. Looking to play good defense on his Shaquille O'Neal. We are there on Steph Curry. He's definitely got the mismatch. But look at Zachy with the steal. Look at Zachy with the steal. And we are running, man. Looking to call screen from Kristaps. Going to see Zach Levine swing that over oh that's we should have shot that we really should have shot that with nate thurman but looking to attack that basket nate thurman can he knock it down yes he can not the prettiest basket but we definitely will take it as we do have a six point lead against my opponent with two minutes left in the ball game he's gonna stop and he is gonna knock that down with a jonathan kaminga i'm pretty sure that's kaminga at least let's get the ball into someone else's hands let's get the ball into kevin durant and let's see what kd and nate thurman can do in the pick and roll looking to go around that screen can we find nate thurman he's got a mismatch inside he is too big he just got a bully ball jonathan kaminga i think that's actually something that's going to be really good about about this Nate Thurman card is going to be his player model. I was talking about that a little bit in freestyle. He has a really good player model. He actually looks kind of like Shaquille O'Neal, where he's got that really kind of wide body frame. I think that's going to be really nice for backing down players and then obviously being a good defender as well. Look at Nate Thurman though. Stop. I can't knock it down. Yeah, that's on me, man. I got to green that. I got to get his release down. But I feel like once you get his timing, this Nate Thurman card is going to be absolutely money. Got to watch this Steph Curry. Good defense there by the squad. And Nate Thurman's on the rebound, man. He's got 15 points and one a rebound on the game. He's looking to take Steph Curry off the dribble. Looking to sauce his Zion Williamson. He has no stamina. Can he knock it down? No, he can't. Nate Thurman, he's looking a little bit tired, but it's only a three-point game. So we are going to need him to be at his best as we are going to foul him, giving his Jerry Sloan two free throws at the line. It is now only a one-point game, man. We've got to be clutch here with Nate Thurman. Looking to call the screen, man. Going around that screen. Nate Thurman at the top of the key. Going to activate his takeover. Nate Thurman, he can't get that to go. That was a terrible shot for me. That's honestly on me, man. Got to get back on defense. We are here with Jonathan Kaminga. Oh, no, he's going to go all the way and pass that inside to Zion Williamson. This is not looking good, man. 25 seconds left, and we do trail by one point. Looking to go around that screen. Going to see Nate Thurman. Stop, pop. Nate, can we knock it down? No, we can't. Can we foul Shaq? That's probably a good idea that we did foul his pink diamond Shaq, who's most likely going to miss a free throw. Is he going to miss? He's going to make the first. I'm playing terrible down the stretch here, man. That was a terrible shot, but he's going to miss, and we are on the rebounds with Zach Levine. We got to get the ball into Nate Thurman's hand. Looking to go around that screen. He's going to send kind of a double team. Looking to go around the screen. Nate Thurman cutting to the basket, going all the way. What was that dunk animation? Back out to Cedric Maxwell. Nate Thurman on the rebounds. No. Oh my God. That was terrible. That was a terrible possession. Oh my God. Hopefully he missed the first. Okay. He did miss the first. We do have a chance. We should call timeout right away. Hopefully he misses again. He's going to miss. Grab timeout, timeout. We got 0 0.8 seconds left. Man, that was such a bad offensive possession. Okay. We got to go to like Kevin Durant or Cedric, right? I feel like it's got to be Cedric Maxwell. I feel like that's how who we have to go through. Damn, man. I sucked on that last possession. He's probably going to wait the whole time out. Try to get me nervous or something, bro. Oh, my God. I thought Nate Thurman was going to get the dunk for tying tying the game. But then he went for like a he went for like a snatch back. I don't even know what dunk that was, but it was a terrible dunk animation. And he got blocked. So we're going to try to go with Cedric Maxwell. It's going to be Kevin Durant inbounding. So yeah, the ball is going to Cedric's hand. He's got the fastest release, and he's going to be really our only chance. Can we create any space with Cedric? Going to stop pop Cedric. Can he knock down the flick? And no, he cannot. Pretty unfortunate loss. I really think I should have won that game. But Nate Thurman did have 15 points, one rebound. Didn't shoot the best from the field or the three-point line. I was shocking some terrible shots the entire game. But overall, I think Nate Thurman is going to be a very good power forward. He's going to be good at going to the basket. He's got a great player model, 6 foot 11 at the 4, and he actually has a really good jump shot as well. So let me know your guys thoughts about Nate Th Nate Thurman in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.